There we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. That could be a good one. Oh my gosh. That's a really good one, y'all. This is a really good one. Yes. Yes. We got a nice one right off the bat. No way. Oh my gosh. I gotta tighten up this drag a little bit. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna get out and do a little bit of urban bass fishing. We're gonna also probably catch some panfish because what we're gonna break out is the fly rod. We also brought some casting gear with us, but I was thinking I wanna do something a little bit different. I had a few requests to go creek fishing with the fly rod. And, uh, and we're also gonna hit some ponds. We're gonna do a little hopping around. We might throw the casting gear as well. Just mix it up, have some fun, and do some fishing. Uh, it's also very windy over the next couple days. I'm a little sheltered from the building right here, but if you look at the water surface out there at this pond, I mean, it's like going. So it might be a nice little change up getting down there in the creeks. Also, I need to practice a couple casts with a fly rod, maybe work out the roll cast, see if I can get that down. So if I'm in an area where I don't have as much casting space, we can uh, utilize that right there. And we're breaking out the new Orvis outfit. By this point, I assume you've seen the combo, but it's uh, an Orvis Hydros 3, and it's a TFO Legacy 9-foot 6-weight rod. And I'm going to take it into the creek, see if we can catch us some fishies. I have a fly tied on right now, but we might do some streamers. And also, what I ultimately want to end up doing uh, to finish is throw some swim baits. There's some fly fishing swim baits that they sell. They're called Game Changers. Everyone has been telling me to try them, throw them, and, uh, and we bought some. So <laughs> we're gonna try and throw some game changers. I wonder if I can like break them out and show you. They're so sick. It's ridiculous. I did not know there was swim baits for fly rods. I would have got into fly fishing years ago. So look at this. Down at Tailwaters, they had some game changers. Christian told me I had to grab a chartreuse. Look at this. How cool is that? And then there's like a shad pattern. But those are straight up single hook fly fishing swim baits. So. Uh, hopefully we can throw those a little bit around today, but we do have to get things rolling tomorrow We're actually taking out the bass boat the hot tamale We're gonna go grab that from storage probably to close out tonight's video And so with that we better get rocking and rolling We're gonna go fish a rock quarry tomorrow on the bass boat So be looking out for that subscribe if you're not already We're going to probably throw some big swim baits probably throw some top water uh, and just talk about this fall transition coming up So just trying to mix things up between our new obsession with the fly fishing as well as just bank fishing in general Kayak fishing which we just posted throwing big swim baits as well as now the bass boat we're gonna break out tomorrow probably more John Bo stuff coming soon as well so too much traffic noise y'all I'm over it let's put the GoPro on let's go hit the creek change into the new fall Sun shirt as well I think this is gonna be available on guggensquad.com soon I believe the patch logo hat is available now code Weston saves you 10% on everything guggensquad.com whether you need some new rods some new Guggen baits everything all for you 10% off code Weston let's go fish right I don't know how casting is gonna go down here but check this out. Yo, this is sick. Look, I got a little casting island. I see a lot of stuff on the surface. This is gonna be tough. There's so many leaves, so many leaves on the surface, but this is a nice little pool right here. I was thinking about starting here. I'll tell you, it's nowhere near as clear as it was last time. and It was a little bit more flowy. I think I'm gonna have to make a move. Seems a lot trickier navigating with a flimsy nine foot rod than a nice sturdy seven foot casting rod through the trees. This looks good. Got a little breeze and some current. This is gonna be the spot. There's some fish. This looks great. Very weird. Nothing seems to want to fly in the creek. The creek was an absolute bust. Last time I was there, there was so much more water. It was crystal clear. It had a great current, and there was a lot of fish in there, so I expected much better results. Needless to say, that just cuts us straight to the swim baits, which is what I'm really most excited about. So I'm going to go ahead, rig up these game changers, and uh, we're going to hit another one of my favorite urban ponds around here, the DFW Metroplex. See if we can get on some good-sized bass on the fly rod for the first time uh, from the bank. Let's go. About to make the first cast. I'll tell you, I watched some videos on this thing. It looks so sick. Every time you strip line in, it has this sick little like, it almost looks like a baby bull gill if you're used to my traditional videos with the casting gear. That's such an awesome multi-jointed swim bait. Same thing with like the Guggen Squad Contender. It has that S-weave, it's sick. Let's check this thing out. Dude, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, okay, let's get a, let's get a cast in. That's nuts. It like darts at you and then it kicks its tail. That's so cool. Oh, got one, got one. Oh my gosh. Third cast. 
I think. Maybe that was fourth cast. Wow. Oh my gosh. Fly fishing swim bait. <laughs> oh, gosh dang. Willie, no, no. I'm trying to show you off. You're my first ever game changer bass. Oh my gosh. Well, there you have it, folks. Sure, it doesn't look exactly like when it's fresh out of water, but it has that kicking action. Like as soon as it darts at you, then it kicks that tail. So cool. I have a feeling we're gonna catch a big one on this here soon. I really didn't even set the hook. I thought I was snagged because that bass was pretty small. You see a pond like this and a drain, you almost gotta come over to it. That was like a no brainer to cast right here first. And it worked. So if you're used to fishing and casting gear, as a lot of my viewers are, this is almost similar to like a jerk bait. It like moves and then it pauses, right? You're stripping that line in and then I see the bait pause. It's almost like a fluke or a jerk bait in some ways. So cool. There we go. There we go. That could be a good one. Oh my gosh. That's a really good one, y'all. This is a really good one. Yes. Yes. We got a nice one right off the bat. No way. Oh my gosh. I gotta tighten up this drag a little bit. I gotta tighten up this drag. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. You got it, boy. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. This is like, this could be my best bass on the fly rod. Game changer, y'all, holy smokes. This is, this is sick, dude. Oh my gosh. Is it bigger than three pounds right here? This is a good one. Woo-wee! Come here, buddy. It might be like a two and a half. I'm trying to gauge this thing. It's anywhere between two and a half and like three and a half. Oh, that's a solid bass. That's a solid fish, y'all. Oh my goodness. This is the second fish on this thing. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Come here. Come here. Come here. No net. I'm not a real fly fisherman. I'm an amateur. Let's go. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. I'd say he's in the two and a half to three pound range. That is so sick. Did that just happen? Ridiculous. Look, barely hooked, barely hooked. Oh my gosh. Game has been changed. Urban Bassett has never been this crazy. What a fun fight. He's hanging out with us on the bank. There he goes. <laughs> I am loving the fly rod more and more. I've had so many awesome comments about keep the fly content coming i really did not think i was going to like fly fishing at all and i was like not i just wouldn't watch the content i didn't really care for it and i tried it and now i am in love so <laughs> there's definitely plenty of people who've done this but i really don't see a whole lot of creators that kind of go like pond topping with fly gear so this is just it's just different it's cool really enjoying it that was solid i wonder if there's a nice big one over here another one they're up shallow, y'all. Fall transition is here. These fish are eating the bait fish. This is literally the perfect time to have gotten this bait and be trying this. I'm stoked. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, another good one. Oh my gosh, another good one. Come on, come on. So I always try and keep tension, but instead of just stripping this fish in really quickly, I want to wear them out a little bit because I'm on this lighter rod, right? So I want to, I try to get them to the reel and let them fight it out with the drag a little bit instead of just stripping them straight on in and then them deciding to go wild and potentially damaging the rod. I don't have a net, so I'm just kind of like trying to wear them out and then go in for the grab. That is kind of my, my practice lately. Plus, I want to get good at bringing them to the reel and fighting them on the reel in case I target other species, really big fish uh, in the future. And I'm gonna want that. So that, that's one of the reasons why I don't just strip these fish in every single time. Whether that makes sense to a lot of the very experienced fly fishermen or not, um, I don't know. But uh, here we go. I'm just grabbing the line. Uh, bam, boozled y'all. Look at that. Look at that side of the mouth hook set. I think this is probably my new favorite fly fishing bait. I know it doesn't look like it did straight out of the box. Might need to give it a few minutes, <laughs> but I'll take it. How sick. There he is. Got one. Not that big. We're just going to strip him in real quick. This is too much fun. How could you have more fun than this bank fishing? This is ridiculous. All right, we're going to get him back in the water quick. We're trying to upsize. Our average weight per fish was looking pretty good there for a second. And he took us back down. We got to fix that. Oh, there he is. 
this is just so sick. Look, there's another fish feeding right here. Wow, there was. There's like two fish fighting over this bait almost. I gotta bring them over here. I don't wanna flip them on this rod. Number five, maybe six. After seeing all that competition over this thing, I gotta fire one in here again. Might be some more fish. Oh, there's one. Got him, got him. Oh, I'm gonna walk this way. Oh my gosh. Line everywhere. Pew! See you, bud. Front flip. Well, if you ever had your doubts about these baits, I think this video settles that. I will be buying more. There. Oh, took it out of his mouth. That's the first one I've missed. First missed bite. Oh, might have been him again coming back for it. Might have been the same fish. Sick. This might be fish number seven, if we're keeping track still. Ooh, hooked in the bottom. I see ya. I see ya. Thank you, sir. It might have been the same fish coming back for it that missed it a second ago, but it's tough to tell. There's so many fish moving up shallow right now. I caught them during lunch hour. I can guarantee you the bite hasn't been like this all day. This is just the right time as the sun's going down. Fly line in trouble. I'm gonna walk it down the bank a little bit. Ooh, probably a rock. We switched sides of the bank over here and the bite has slowed a little bit since we've done that. It's a little bit deeper on this side, I believe. There's definitely potential for some big ones on this side, but not getting the same amount of numbers. It might've just been we hit the bite at the perfect time. I got a feeling we're gonna get some more. The bite has tapered off. Gotta go grab that boat. Get ready for tomorrow. Ooh, ne ne ne. this one's gonna be good. This one's really good. <laughs> <laughs> that can be, can it? A potential PB? I, I guess it could be. Spot locking. All right, we made it to the storage and got the hot tamale loaded up before sunset. That is an absolute wrap. If you guys want to see more bass fishing streamers, let me know on the fly rod. Otherwise, we might hit some creeks. For sure, I want to grab at least some panfish and some bass and some creeks. Uh, that was the whole intention of today as well, was to kind of mix that in with the game changer swim baits, but we didn't have an opportunity to do that. The creeks just weren't having it today. I need to find another one with some good current, some good flowing water, hopefully some clearer water. So let me fill this thing up. We'll catch you guys on the next video where we take out the bass boat and we're gonna be going for some big bass tomorrow on a private rock quarry. It's gonna be crazy. We'll see you there, bye.